What makes QRL quantum resistant? You don't necessarily need to trust QRL by itself because we take our standards and we base them off the NIST branch of the United States government. So NIST is what develops the cryptographic standards for government, corporate, and retail cryptography. Essentially, they set the standards for what's considered secure and they set the guidelines. We follow those guidelines. For Zond, we're using MLDSA and this is also under FIPS 204 if you go to their website. So over the years, we've been in contact with the NAST and we follow their standards that they set. NAST has done all of the heavy lifting by working with worldwide cryptographic experts, universities, large corporations, and brought together a consensus of experts in the field and then narrowed down all of these cryptographic standards into different protocols. So at the end of the day, we're basing our standards off of the heavy lifting that NAST has already done. They're basing their standards off the heavy lifting that the rest of the cryptographic world has done, specifically experts, cryptologists, large companies. And we've done the heavy lifting for you because we've implemented those standards into a Pulse Quantum Secure blockchain which is provably quantum computer secure since the first block. That's what makes QRL Pulse Quantum resistant. If you have further questions, go to www.qrl.org, go into our Discord channel. We have a lot of video content on this and uh, you can ask questions on our Discord community. Lots of options available to you.